So I'm going to do a WordPress overview just to show you what you can do with it. And this is not the final video. I will do more and go into more steps of how you can create different pages and so on. And that's in future. But for now, I just want to do an overview to show you what you can do with WordPress. On cPanel, go to WP Toolkit and install WordPress. I already have the same WordPress that I installed in the last video. So I'm going to use that. So I'm going to click here on login and this is going to take me to the dashboard. Now WordPress has two parts. There's a front end that is what your customers are going to see. When they go to your domain, when they click and go to your domain, they're going to see the front end. And that is also the one that Google indexes and that's the one you can share links on Facebook or for email marketing and so on. So the front end, that's what your customers are going to see when they visit your website. Here, where I've logged into, and remember, I just logged in by clicking here, but you can also log in by going to that link, and then it will require a password and a username. This is where I can manage my website. I can build pages. I can design pages. If I want to change the content for my website, I can change it here. If I need to create a blog post, I can create it here. WordPress comes with blogs by default. So if you want to create a blog, if you want to, if you want your website to also have a blog where you can add news and maybe information about your different things happening with your products or anything related to your industry, related to your business, WordPress has support for posts and that is where you can set up your blog, right? So if you want to go to the front end to see what your visitors are going to see, you can just come in here and you'll see this option for visit site. So if I go to the front end, this is the front end of my website. All right, so I can have my menus here and people can access the different pages on my website. All right, let's go and delete these pages and then we're going to create new pages. Come here under pages. You're going to see all your pages under pages. If you have contact us, you have about us, any other page, you'll find it here, right here. So let me just delete this. So I'll delete that, I'll trash it. And when I trash it, it will go into my trash and I can also click on trash. And this is going to give me the opportunity to delete it permanently. So the good thing with WordPress is that when you want to build your website, there are themes you can use and there are lots, lots of different themes on, on the WordPress website. If you go to the WordPress website, which is wordpress.org, this is the official website for WordPress. So you can download WordPress from here and install it manually. But if you, ha if you have cPanel, you can just install it automatically using WP Toolkit like I did. There are lots of themes. There are lots of themes. There are plugins, right? And we're going to see what each of these are. So a theme, as the name suggests, this is the template that you can use to design your website. You're going to see how to do that. And then plugins. Plugins give you extra functionality for your WordPress. So if you want to add something that WordPress doesn't do, you can do so using a plugin. And we're going to see how to install some plugins in this video as well. So let's start by seeing how we can design a page. So if I come here and I click there, that is the home page. Okay, this is a theme. Let's go to WordPress and install a different theme. So I'll come here under, uh, I will come here under appearance and then I'll go into themes. Here you'll see the different themes and if you're not using a theme, for security reasons, it's just important to delete the theme from your website. So if you want to delete a theme, you can click on delete. And down here, you can delete the theme. And you can go to the next one, theme details, and then delete the theme. Now let's add a theme and I want to use a theme called generate press. Now this is a free theme and it's lightweight. So I can search for J rate press to install it. So I'll click there, install. And then I will activate the theme. 
So if I was to go to the front end now, you'll see that the design is different. And that is because I have installed a different theme. So on top of generate press, we also need uh, certain plugins. So if you want to install a plugin and plugin, as I said, is something that adds functionality to your WordPress. So if I come here under plugins, I can click there to see all the plugins that I have installed. So these are plugins that were installed by WP Toolkit. So here, this is for anti-spam protection and I can enable this in a different video. And then contact form, this will put a contact form on your website. When people contact you, they can reach you using the contact form on your contact page. Now, this is just a sample that usually comes with WordPress and you can delete it. Just click on delete and delete it. Limit login attempts. This one also comes with cPanel WP Toolkit. So all this comes with uh, the WP Toolkit. They were installed automatically. This is for caching. So caching, caching is just a way to speed your website. And then used for SEO. This can help you improve the SEO for you, for different pages on your website. So here under plugins, I want to install another one called Generate Blocks. This can help you design your pages. So let me click here, add new plugin. And I want to add Generate Blocks. So there are lots of different website builders that are available for WordPress and generate blocks is created by the same people that have created generate press. That's why I decided to go with it. And it's also lightweight, just like generate press. All right. So let's go and create our first page. Okay. So if you want to create a page, go to pages or you can click there. You can create a new post. You can create a new page. Let me click to create a new page and we're going to call this page homepage. I can just close that and I will give this a title. Let me just call it home and I will publish the page for now. I will publish the page and the reason I'm, I'm publishing will be apparent in a moment. So if I come here, and I click, you'll see, this is currently my home page. If I want to go back to the dashboard, I can just click there and I can go to the dashboard. And I'm going back to the WordPress dashboard because I want to change my home page. If you want to change your home page to a particular page, you need to come here under settings. And you'll come here into reading settings. And here is where you can set your home page and you can also set your blog page so first let's start with a static page for my home page and i haven't set up a blog page yet and i'll just save so after setting this as my home page just remember the page is still blank we haven't edited the page so if you want to go to the front end to see how the front website looks like you just open there and you can see right now it is blank and empty. So you can start designing the page. So go to the page and even if you're here and you want to edit this page, you can just click there, edit page. So here I'm going to edit the page. I want to come to this side and edit some things about this page. So I'm just going to close that. And on this side, I can choose how the layout will be. So Right now, if you look at it, you'll see that we have a sidebar and we have this part. If you don't want that, you can you can edit it. Sidebar layout, you can say no sidebars for this page. You update that. Now this is on the free theme. There's a paid version of this that has more features, but let's just work with the free one for now. Disable elements. I can disable the title. So if I update the page and come back, you'll see that this has gone because we've chosen no sidebars. This is a sidebar. So I'm going to refresh this and you can see now our website is full, full page. And that gives us the opportunity to design this page. So if I wanted to change the content of this page, remember I've installed a plugin called Generate Blocks. I can use that to design my page.
if I want to design this page and get the help of generate blocks, I can just select different blocks here, different blocks that I can use to design the page. So for now, let me open that. And if I open this, it gives me this part that shows me everything that's available in my WordPress page. So let me just reduce the size. And as I said, right now, we don't have any element on our page. If you click this button, you can add an element. Okay, generate blocks. So up here, you can see there's this thing, generate blocks. So you can open the pattern library. The pattern library has pre-designs that you can just put inside of your website and then edit them. So this will make designing your page very fast and quick. So this is a free version. Of course, it doesn't come with everything that the paid generate blocks option comes with. So I'm going to look for a hero and a hero usually is an element at the top of the page. So you can select a type of hero, a type of hero that you want. In this case, let's say I want to go with this type of hero. So I'm just going to click there on insert and it will be inserted into my page. So here I can say welcome. Just select it and say welcome to my business. And then whatever text you want to add there, or if you don't need the text, you can remove it. And then if you click here, you can add an image. So you can click here. When you click on it, you can click on replace to replace the image. And you can upload an image. If I want to upload an image, I can just click there on upload. And I'll search for images here. Maybe I can use that. And I'll just leave that as the image for now. Something else that you need to know is whenever you click on any element, element that is on this page and you come here to, you come to this, it will give you various settings that you can change for elements that are here. Maybe you want to increase the text, the size of the text here. You can just click on that. And if you come this side, you're going to see there's this option to uh, typography. And here you can change the font size. So I'll just stick with that. And if you want to change it, you can maybe make it bigger or make it tinier there. And that's where font size is. Here under typography, font size is there. If I was to update the page and come back here, you'll see that. Now we have this. So let me come back here and I want to disable this home. And this theme gives us the option to disable the content title. So the content title, which is this, which is that, will not be shown when it is disabled here. So to get here, just click on page and you're going to see the option that you can do for the page. And one of them is content title can be hidden. If I update that, and let me also remove this tagline. So if, if I select it, I can delete it from there. So if I was to update that, and then refresh the page, you'll see that is gone. And now if people come to your website, they'll see that and the information you want to tell them, this button can go wherever you want. If you want to add a link to that button, of course, you can do that. You can just click on the button and click there and you can add a link. So maybe you want the link to link to the home page here. I can just add that. Maybe you want it to link to something else. You can add that there and you can also make it open in a new tab. So when somebody clicks it, it opens in a new tab. You can add all these options, no follow, so that search engines do not follow it. If it is a sponsored link, you can add sponsored to let search engines know that this is a sponsored link. So that's the first part there. Let's say now the next thing you want to add, you want to add something else down here. So if you want to add something else down here, let's see if there is a plus button I can use. Yeah, and there's this plus button there. If you want to add anything after, you can do so. But the best way to add an item, you can see all these items are arranged in a way. That's a section and then the other items that are within that section. So if you want to add an element after it, you can do so easy, easier. The best way to do so 
to make sure that it is under that is to use this. So when you use this, you can add an element uh, after. So let's add an element after, and it's just going to be a paragraph. So when I come to that paragraph and I click on it, I can add another element. I've shown you that the easiest way to add elements here, you can just come in here into generate blocks, themes, pattern library, click on that, and you can add your item there. For the next part, let's say maybe you want to add featured sections. I can click there on featured sections to see which options they have for me. If I see something that I like, if you see anything that you like, you can select that and use it. So I'm just going to click on insert and that's going to insert it here. If you want to edit any of these items, of course, you can just come in here, click on it and edit what you want to edit. Say your message. Let's say after this now you want to add you want to add a contact form. Let's see how you can add a contact form here. And I'm just going to use something that I've seen is already installed here. And that is contact form 7. I saw that it's already installed. When I went to plugins, there was a plugin there called contact form 7. And we can use that. If I want to add something else beneath this, I'll just click there under it and then click add after. And that's going to add a paragraph. And then in this paragraph, I can add other things. Come back here. And I can use something else here. So let's say I want to use any one of these. And it's going to get added there. Here there's an image. Let's say I want to remove this image. So I'm just going to click on it. And then, and then I can delete. And that's going to remove the image. And once I remove the image, this is still a block and I can add something here. So let's say I want to add my form here. I want to add my contact form here. So I don't have contact form. Okay, contact form. I'm just going to click there on contact form. And select a form. So I did choose, I chose the wrong block for this, but it's not a problem. If I click on that, where does it take me? I don't want any of these elements inside here. That one as well. Delete it. So we'll just have our form there. And you can say something there. Use the form to contact us. There, you can give it a heading contact us and then let's add one last element and then we can end the video so let's say maybe under this section i want to show people my pricing the pricing for the different items so i'm going to add after i'll just use a template from here so if i want to add the pricing i can just click there on pricing and i can choose one template there are these options that you have here for pricing let's say i want to use this i can select that then click on insert and that's going to add the different pricing here you can just click on on an item and edit it best edit all of these other items and then here for the button of course click on it add the link to where this can be bought if you also need to sell items on your website there are plugins for that that pretty much gives you an overview of what you can do with WordPress and how fast you can get your website up and running if this is what you want. You can also create other pages and have them added here to the menu. If you create other websites, they can be added here on the menu. This is just a sample to show you what you can do. So if I refresh this, you'll see that there we have our, our welcome page. Here you can add whatever information you want to add. Here, contact us can be there. You can have your pricing there. Whatever you need to do, you can do with WordPress. If you need to add your logo, you can add your logo. And that can be done here under customize. This is just an example to show you the possibilities and let me know what you think about this. All right, I'm going to end it there.